I was definitely on the fence about doing this, but I know when I was starting out on YouTube, I was so curious what people made. Obviously the biggest creators make millions, the smallest creators make a couple bucks, but how much can you realistically make as like a small to medium sized creator? Can you go full time with tens of thousands of subscribers or is it at least a good side hustle? With the new year starting, I know a ton of people are gonna be going all in on YouTube, so this should be super insightful. Okay, I know you want that super secret juicy number and I promise I'm gonna pull back the curtain, but before we do that, I think it's important you understand my business a little bit. So as it currently stands, there are four different revenue streams stemming from my YouTube channel. First, there's YouTube AdSense, which a lot of you are probably familiar with. The super oversimplification is the more views I get, the more ads are shown to viewers, and the more money I make. Everything from the amount of swear words to the length of the video to the topic I cover can actually alter this number pretty drastically. Next, we've got affiliate marketing. So basically, if I make a video on something like a camera lens and I put a link to that in the description and you click and buy the product through that link, I get a little bit of a commission, just like a car salesman would, or any salesman, really. Next, we've got brand deals, which I'm not gonna share any super specifics on, but basically, I talk about a brand for a portion of one of my YouTube videos, and they pay me for it. I'm pretty picky about who I work with. I get a lot of random offers at this stage, to say the least. So this isn't a huge part of my business model yet. Lastly, I'm an ambassador for Epidemic Sound. So similar to affiliate marketing, if you sign up for them to get music for your YouTube videos through my link, I will get a small commission. When you add all these things together, that's the total revenue I'm making as a content creator. In this video, I'm gonna focus on AdSense, which is that physical check I get from YouTube just for uploading to their platform. All right, let's do this. Let's take a look at some of my videos. All right, so this first video I wanna show you is a vlog I made about a year ago called How I Stay Motivated Creating Videos By Myself. And looking at the metrics for this video, it actually performed quite poorly for my channel. We got 892 views, which is less than usual. Watch time was less than usual. It got nine subscribers to my channel and it made a whopping $3.10. Not great. Also, I do want to make this really clear. I'm not trying to complain about how little I've made. I'm also not trying to brag because it's about to get interesting. This is purely educational. If you're thinking about being a creator or you're already working towards being a creator, I just want this to be informative. All right, let's take a look at video number two. So this video performed significantly better. It's what's in my camera bag 2022 photo plus video gear. So as you can see, this video did great. It got 9,600 views, over 700 hours of watch time, almost 100 subscribers for the channel and made $43.05. Now this isn't full-time income or anything, but making 40 to $50 per video feels pretty cool. Especially if you're just doing YouTube as a hobby, maybe you're in high school or a college student. I mean, if you can make four videos a month and each one made around $50, it's an extra $200 a month for doing something you enjoy. All right, it's about to get juicy. This next video got almost 50,000 views, over 3,000 hours of watch time, 800 plus subscribers, and made $300. We've got how to shoot an event video, shooting plus editing tips. So at about 50,000 views, this is where you can start to see the potential of YouTube. Also, something really cool to keep in mind is this video isn't done making money. If we go to revenue and we look in just the past seven days. Okay, so the analytics are a little behind. That's what that gap is. But as you can see, this video is making eh, about a dollar a day, which isn't a ton of money, but it's just passive income at this point. Okay, so this last video has got 169,000 views, almost 18,000 hours in watch time, and got me almost 3,000 subscribers. It is the ultimate beginner's guide to camera lenses. So yeah, in total, it looks like this video has made $1,564.36. 
Now, obviously this is an extreme example. For me, I think it's like the third or fourth most viewed video on my channel. But if you could make something like this every single week, you'd be a full-time creator. I mean, hands down, that's a lot of money. And again, what's super interesting is if we click that revenue, again, we kind of go to like the last seven days. I made this video over two years ago and it's still making like $3 a day. Now, these are some of the top videos on my channel, but as you can imagine, as you stack tens of videos, hundreds of videos, that passive income starts to add up. That's Monday through Sunday, seven days a week. I mean, they're just making money at this point. Okay, so if we total it all up, my journey to now a little over 20,000 subscribers for 2.7 million views, 146,000 hours of watch time. My revenue from YouTube AdSense was $10,290.28. I really don't know if that number seems low or high, but super interested to hear what you think. And there's so many factors that affect this and essentially it boils down to the niche of your channel and what specific advertisers are willing to pay. You could make half as much for the same amount of views, you could make twice as much for the same amount of views. As I mentioned earlier, if you're looking to build a business as a creator, this should just be one piece of the pie. The most important thing you can do is build multiple revenue streams. We talked briefly about some of mine earlier, but some creators do things like Patreon, or they sell merchandise, or create digital products, or online courses. There's a lot of different ways to earn money, and AdSense is just a portion of that. One of my big goals for the year is to help up-and-coming creators grow their channel, so if that sounds interesting to you, consider subscribing. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one.